You know, I've said it before, and I've said it a thousand times, that Atlanta is the most suffering city, sports town in the world. We are by far the worst franchise ever in football. And this even beats teams that have gone 0-16. Oh, my God. This game today. Uh, I don't even know where. I can't even do my introduction. Um, I want to give a shout-out first to 8 Fizzle Productions, my dude, for doing a dual stream with me. I said one of my most loyal friends on here. Thank you, man. Um, give a shout-out to uh, Laugh Not Famous. He popped in. I wish he could have made, made the video stream. Please try to come in, man, on Christmas. I'm going to be doing the game on Friday uh, the Vikings and the Saints. Because uh, I'm going to do the NFC South teams down the stretch, especially in the playoffs. But, you know, the old saying is, what doesn't break you makes you stronger. What? What doesn't break us every year, every week, is going to make us stronger to be able to live up to accept more suffering? My God, I don't know what in the hell. I don't, I mean... You know you can come on here and you can find all the words that you could possibly say. But you can't. The emotions are just beyond upset, beyond flabbergasted, beyond acceptance. It's non it's non it's non earthly. The Falcons it's We do not know how to win here. We don't know how to win in any sport. I, I feel five times this year, the Falcons have let two or three touchdown leads get away. Let me go and break. Oh God, it just frustrates me to even try to bring up. We lose to the Buccaneers and Tom Brady today by a score of uh, 31-27. You guessed it, in case you didn't watch the game, we had a three-possession lead again, 17 to nothing. You want to know what made it worse? Besides, I waited all offseason for this. Was that we haven't, we haven't beaten Tom Brady yet. We're 0-9. But you know the Super Bowl choke, right? 28-3. to I tell you, the sports guys hate us. When I calculated this, it almost like, I'm telling you, man, it's unearthly. It's not even earthly. It's not even normal. The Falcons had a 17 to nothing lead. Matt Ryan was balling. Calvin Ridley was balling. Russell Gage was balling. The defense actually got a couple sacks in the first half. And then all of a sudden we went to sleep. Like, what, do, what, do, what did the coaches do at halftime? Did, did the coaches tell the players, okay, you played a first half. Now I want you to just fall apart in the second half. But the Patriots were ne at one point in the second half. The Patriots had five straight possessions, four touchdowns, one field goal. They had 60 yards in the first half. In the second half, five straight possessions, four touchdowns, and one field goal. We couldn't stop them for nothing. It's like all of a sudden they just forgot what the hell to do. And then I calculated it. In the third quarter, they outscored us 21 to 7. What's 21 plus 7? 28. What was our lead at the end of three quarters? Three. 28 to 3. Even subliminally, we can't shake it. So you should have known that it was going to happen. And then the referee. I'm, look, I'm not blaming the referee for, the, for us losing. But that was the most obvious biasm and favoritism towards Tom Brady. Now, fourth and two, okay, they kick a field goal. We got the ball with, what, maybe 30-something seconds to go to go down the field and tie it. No, we're not going to do it. But we should have had an opportunity. But the guy on third and two was clearly, if you go back and watch over my stream, I showed it. 
this far from the first down marker, and the referee, not once but twice, they showed it, him picking up the ball and moving it a yard and a half. So you're trying to tell me there's no blocking of, of the play, there's no players in front of the ball, it's a clear-cut view that the yellow line was right here and he was right here. And then it shows the referee moving the fucking football. And they gave him a first down. And then Raheem Morris is looking at the referee saying, look at that. What are they looking at? Oh, my God. That culminated the whole thing. You know, I support this team. And I love this team. And I'll be here next week. But we're going to get destroyed by the Chiefs. But, I mean, this, it, it, it's gone beyond... Logical. I mean, I'm starting to speak in terms that I never even knew I could, I could, in words I never knew I existed. This has gone beyond normal. The Falcons' defense has no clue what to do on third down. Again, you saw what happened on third down late in the game. The Buccaneers were pass rushing Matt Ryan and sacking him. Well, what are we doing on third down? In the second half, we're playing prevent. This has been like this for 5, 10, 15 years. What is wrong with you guys? Oh my God, I'm tired of getting aggravated and upset. But we are, we are clearly, all these coaches are clearly members of the short bus. I kid you not. They have been, they are walking into so many damn walls that they got concussions of the brain. What are you guys doing? Are, are you NFL coaches or, oh my God, I, oh my God, this has been the worst Falcon season ever in history for me and probably the worst ever. Five, three touchdown leads that we have blown. Actually, Cowboys, Bears, um, the Buccaneers today. We led the Chargers late last week. Should have put it away. Oh, my God. That's five wins that we should have had. Five. And you know what the, the, the strangest part is? These coaches don't seem to give a crap. You want to know why? Because if they did, they would fix it. It's the same thing week in and week out. Why? It's like, like last said. Why are we bothering getting two touchdown, three touchdown leads? We can't hold it. The defense is horrible. Dante Fowler is garbage. Oh my God, this defense can't stop Grandma Moses, can't stop a nosebleed, can't stop a walking turtle. Oh, wow. I cannot wait for this season to end. This has been the most demoralizing season that I've ever experienced. And the reason is because we had so much high expectations and so many games that could have turned this season around. Oh my God. I'm just utterly... All I know is thank God the Atlanta Hawks uh, play on Wednesday, regular season opener. I'll be streaming the game. But, oh man. And the thing that also makes it annoying is that they laugh at us. I said it during my live stream. The opposing team, whenever they come out flat and are down 17 to zip or 24 to 3 or 24 to 10 or 27 to 10, you know what they say? They're like, it's okay, coach. We're going to come back and win. Why? Because these are the Falcons. There is no killer instinct on this damn team. We can't, whenever we cause a fumble, it always goes out of bounds or the player's knee is down. We can't catch a break. It's because we're not, the sports gods don't want us to win. I mean, this game hurts because I wanted it in the worst way possible since the offseason. Oh, man. The Atlanta Falcons are horrible. The history of the Falcons are horrible. The fans deserve better. 
And I give a lot of respect to Rise Up in the ATL and any Falcon fan who came to the stadium today, social distancing, face masks, to watch a team that has been blowing leads since 1980. Those are true fans. They were there, repping the team. 17 to nothing, 24 to 7, I'm sure they were feeling good. But once again, I said it at halftime, 17 to zip, I said, I looked at the camera and I said, it ain't over. God, I would love to be wrong once. I would love for the Falcons to get a humongous lead and actually hold it. The only time that happened was against the Raiders. Oh my God, this franchise is pathetic, man. This horrible franchise is garbage. They have, they don't have any mindset of winning games. Arthur Blank is old and senile. The coaches are trash. The players are trash. Matt Ryan once again balled his butt off today. And he was put into a situation to where he had to pull through. Calvin Ridley dropping passes. And that's what happens with Atlanta. Whenever we get big leads, all of a sudden, the defense can't make a stop. We can't sack the quarterback for nothing. We can't make tackles. We can't pick up fumbles. And the offense starts dropping balls. That's got it. Look, Atlanta Falcons in the history has to be mind struck in the head. Something has to be going up in here. You know when you try too hard and you start to tighten up? That's what I believe happens here. I believe these players so badly want to change want to change the norm of Atlanta, which is choking, that when we got big leads and the second half hits, they put too much pressure on themselves instead of going out and playing. Really, who was making catches the whole first half. Second half, we had a chance to put another touchdown on the board, and he drops an open first down. And then we go three and out. And then, I mean... Man, oh. congratulations to the Buccaneer fans that I know at work. Congratulations to uh, the Buccaneer fans on YouTube that I interact with, which is not many. I'm not going to mention your names because I really don't talk to you. But Ballard Sports Media, I'm going to give you a shout, dude. Um, just horrible. Um, Buck Skull Gang, whatever his name is, he's a he's a commenter in my chat. Oh my God, Falcons! Look, first of all, the Falcons. I never expected they were going to get out to a 17 to nothing lead, 24 to seven. But I expected to finally fucking hold on to a lead. Golly, shame on me for expecting us to hold a lead of three of three possessions. Atlanta loves getting laughed at. They love seeing us loyal fans and myself in misery. Once again, my phone blows up. Will it ever stop is what I want to know. Will this misery ever stop? It's only going to stop when we finally get championship personnel, championship coaches, and God's sakes, championship players. During the offseason, I'm serious. Raheem Morris, you need to get the hell out. Uh, whoever's on the defensive, Jeff Ulrich, get the hell out. Or Ulrich, whatever the hell your name is, Get out. Dirt Cutter, get the hell out. Quarterback coach, get the hell out. Defensive line coach, defensive running back coach, defensive cheerleader coach, defensive ball boy coach, offensive move the marker 10 yards coach. Everybody needs to go. We need to cut everybody on this coaching staff because everybody on this coaching staff has no idea how to win. I mean, I, I can understand losing ball games, but we're blowing big leads, week in, week out, year in, year out. It's frustrating. It's a miracle us loyal Falcon fans haven't died of a heart attack. And you wonder and you wonder why we get laughed at. I hate getting laughed at. This makes me angry. Oh, because I want this team to win so bad. And since the Super Bowl collapse, we have just totally turned into a dumpster fire. Oh my God, this is amazing to me. But anyways, uh, this rant, I don't even think the Falcons deserve this rant, but I am so irritated. Shout out to Laugh Not Famous, go check out his rant. Go shout out, uh, shout out to Dylan Blurton. I have yet to watch his rant, but I'm going to. I know it's gonna be epic. Uh, Rise Up ATL, I haven't seen his, but I know his rant is gonna be epic. 
Oh my God, this is just beyond ridiculous, man. It's like, it's like the Twilight Zone. It's like parallel universes, man. But anyways, um, the Pudats lost again. Thank you, Kansas City Chiefs. Your collapse is in full effect. But I'm frustrated with this team. There will be a premiere tomorrow, and I'm going to talk a lot more about it when I'm calmer. Uh, Falcons and the Chiefs on Sunday. I'll be streaming it. Yay, we're going to get molly walked. Um, it's like what Laugh Famous said is accurate. If you're going to lose, just go out and get your butt whipped. Because to get your fan base pumped up and getting a big lead week in and week out, and you doing the exact same thing, making no changes and blowing it, that's tough to take. And you wonder why your fan base just gets, just rags on you. Just, if, if you're going to get big leads, you need to win. If you're not going to get big leads, just get ass kicked. Seriously, just get destroyed. Kansas City Chiefs, do us a favor. I really want to win next week, but who are we kidding? Take us out of our, take us out of our misery in the first half. Beat us up by like three or four touchdowns. And then show the Falcons coaches how you close out a dominant win. Really. Show the coaches how you close out a dominant win. Because we clearly, and I repeat, clearly have no idea how to do it. And I'll see you in the next one.